you can fucking do it. Good afternoon, friends, foes, supporters, enemies, whoever you are, wherever you are in the world. Apologies for the horrendous angle. I am currently, I'm currently at the Swan Shopping Centre. I've just had a tan. I hope you can tell. If you can't, then get it for me. And it is Sunday. Sunday the what? Sunday the 13th of March. And I can't actually believe that I'm saying this, but it is peak week. We have made it to peak week. Oh my God. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually in quite a good mood today. I'm determined to go into peak week in a more positive attitude. I am in fact sat in the car park about to have my lunch. I've got classic tuna with salad. I just bought, I went to Tesco to get some bits, including these like beef free wraps, which are literally four grams of carbs per wrap and a hundred calories. So they're a fucking lifesaver. I bought this, um, salad dressing with red peppers and smoked paprika and parsley and I had to try it, I was desperate to try it so I'm gonna have some now and plus I didn't want to sit in the dark and eat my lunch because the car park at the Arcadian is underground, well it's not underground but it's in a building so it's just like dark and dingy and I didn't want to eat in there so I thought it'd be nice to like you know get a little bit of sunlight so yeah oh my god I look forward to this salad so much it's literally just green salad with one of those crunchy bags as well because i'm allowed a limited salad tuna and some zero cal um garlic mayo dressing whatever from skinny co mm, delish i'm desperate to try some of this better not be shit oh my god it's delicious holy fucking shit get on my dinner Oh my god, I'm gonna smother that wrap in this. Oh my god, I need to be careful with this. How much? I didn't even look. Okay, maybe no smothering. I've literally just put, you can't even see it, but like the tiniest dribble. <laughs> just for the taste, honey, because we, there's no room for air anymore. Oh god. That dressing. Amazing. So, peak week protocol is in full swing Ooh. legs tonight lower i should say still doing cardio abs every day i think i might die i started actually making a list of all the shit i need now finally getting organized i still haven't sorted any contacts out which is a bit annoying i would like some contact lenses because I'm not going to wear my glasses and I would quite like to see so contact lenses are probably a must anyway I'm going to devour my lunch I'll see you at the gym coach and his delicious girlfriend at the gym and he has decided that he's camera shy and doesn't want to say anything but he has kindly offered oh you can uh, watch me uh, bench 110 if you want so we're gonna do that because <laughs> he doesn't want to speak apparently he just wants to look hench so let's go Yeah, buddy. Yeah. 
Hi guys, so we are back from the gym and you are not going to believe it, but I actually had a moderately enjoyable day. It was so, so direly quiet at work. Um, so I got out, excuse me, on time, went for a sunbed and then went and trained legs and actually got everything done. Had a great time, saw Fulvio and Jess as you've just seen. Got my cardio done, 15,000 steps, stepper, all done. Boom, did some posing. I'm feeling really happy what and i've just made i've eaten half of it but i'm going to show you um a mug cake basically out of applesauce and protein powder and that's essentially it um because obviously i'm not experimenting with shit because i'm on it's peak week i have had this before i don't know why i didn't vlog it and yeah i've literally half eaten it so it looks like shit now but it, it does look absolutely dire however this is absolute life on prep I'm not even joking. Uh, if, it, if you put it in for too long, I'll, I'll post a video, I'll make a, uh, an Instagram about it. If you put it in the microwave for a little bit too long, just chuck some hot water over it, like literally dribble hot water over it and it just goes all moist and like... Obviously I haven't had cake in fucking forever. This just tastes like a, a muffin to me. It's actually delicious. I love it. Anyway, so we're done this evening. Same as lunch, but with uh, Dopsy chicken instead of tuna. And then tomorrow's food will be exactly the same. Literally exactly the same. But I really, really love that food. So I don't mind. But instead of having apple and cinnamon protein, I'm gonna have chocolate cookie. Chocolate peanut cookie. Yeah. So all in all, a great start to peak week. Fantastic. Let's hope that it continues, oh my God. I'll probably see you in the morning. Good morning, my amazing viewers, followers, YouTubers, Instagrammers, whoever you are. It is Monday the 14th of March and we are starting the week as we mean to go on in a very good mood like what on earth look at this lovely morning light as well isn't it nice it's so early but it's just like the morning is always quite nice isn't it when it's kind of like spring has emerged and the light's all pretty and everyone's kind of like oh, summer is coming anyway, <laughs> anyway so obviously I'm at placement today and then we've got an upper session today my split has changed because obviously it's peak week so my split has changed so it'll be upper today upper and abs and cardio as normal i've actually gained weight i'm holding now three and a half kilos weird i'm not sure hopefully that'll disappear with like really good sleep i've got absolutely no idea why i'm holding it probably because i well i have very, a lot of ideas it's because i'm like stressed to high heaven but there's nothing to do about that Again, I'm trying not to worry about the numbers. We look good, so it's okay. I wish I was leaner in the legs, but I'm not. I don't want to think about it too much. It's too late now. Let's just try and enjoy this now. We're six days out. Holy fuck. So yeah, um, I did a poll on Instagram and it basically said, you guys basically said that you like a combination of both training and vlog style videos. So I'm going to make more of an effort to film my training sessions this week because I I basically just didn't think that anyone really cared about watching me do sets but if you actually do then great good to know i will continue doing it and it's good for me anyway to film them and perform and whatever so yeah nice little eight hour shift today it's literally a dream and then we are going to go to the gym so i shall see you later and we have magically transformed into three o'clock quarter past three half three whatever time it is half three and we are done with the day done with placement and now i'm going to eat my lunch in the car and we are going to head to the gym we've got upper today i'm so excited i'm still in a really good mood I, like maybe it's something to do with like seasonal affective disorder or something or you know possibly the fact that i've been on prep for six months and i'm fucked however i'm in a great mood so long may it continue i'll see you in a bit <laughs> Come on. 
Go on, you got it? everyone happy tuesday the 15th of march i should probably know this by now because we are what five days out another day of feeling fabulous i don't know what's going on this week but it's just amazing weight is kind of like pretty stagnant but that's fine like i said we're not worried about that today i'm not in placement i decided to take today off i spent literally the entire day blitzing my bedroom and i've really really enjoyed it i've like cleaned out everything i'm quite a tidy person anyway but now everything is like literally spotless it's amazing i'm under the firm like ideology that you have like tidy house tidy mind and now my room is absolutely spotless and it's amazing so my it's basically like a washroom at the minute because like i have washing hanging everywhere because i've done like two loads of washing and washed all my black bed sheets and stuff like that in prep for sunday i've started packing um i'll go through all the shit i'm gonna take with you take with me with you as well and I'm just making my lunch and I cannot wait to show you my lunch I'm going to go through it because it's a little bit of an experiment but it's not at the same time it's something I've had before but I've basically like put it back in the oven and put some vegan cheese on the top and I'm hoping that it's going to be absolutely banging it looks banging anyway so we shall see <laughs> anyway plan for today is I need to go and get my hair touched up at four o'clock because I mean it's not bad but I've just not really looked after it and it just but like, you can see where all of my like little bits of hair are breaking off that's the reality of braids it's not dandruff it's literally just like hair follicles it's really weird um I also need to go and get my eyebrows threaded I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or later in the week I'm not sure and obviously I've been skin prepping massively so I'm not sure whether to epilate today or not either just in case like it fucks my skin so I might do that later but I'm not sure we shall see so yeah that's gonna be my day so I hope you're all having a fabulous day it's literally so beautifully sunny outside so I might try and go outside as well like oh my god I've not been outside in so long so yeah I shall see you in a bit so I can't actually decide if this looks nice or not but I mean like to me it does <laughs> so it is vegan cheese Vegan meatballs, obviously. I'm going to just stop saying vegan because we all know it's vegan. Meatballs, frozen veg, sauce made of, like, the water from the veg cooked, quadruple concentrated passata, paprika, um, and, yeah, just basically, like, put in the oven and blasted. And, mate, I'm not going to lie, I'm, like, fucking buzzing for this. It looks well nice. hope it is nice. Before I suck into my delicious lunch, I'm going to continue with my skin routine and exfoliate and then I'm going to attempt sorry I've just got to look in the living room then I'm going to attempt to epilate my entire body yes you heard that correctly 
absolutely pasted on that one. So we are just about to epilate. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't done this since I was like 18, 19, so like 10 years ago. <laughs> and I'm absolutely petrified. I'm literally petrified. I've just got out the bath. Um, I did my normal exfoliating routine. My skin is so lovely and soft. I'm feeling really dry, but that's, you know, the joys of epilating, exfoliating. Um, I did a little tiny patch the other day, um, just to see how long it would last. And it's still there. So I'm hoping I can just top up with hair removal cream if I have to. Uh, but I thought this would actually be quite funny just to capture on camera the first time me doing this because it's going to be disgusting. And also epilating gods, goddesses, whatever. Do not come for me, okay? Like I said, I've not done this in fucking you. I'm doing it on my bed. I don't give a shit. I will hoover. It's not a fucking problem, okay? Just don't come for me, okay? <laughs> I haven't got time for it. Just leave it out. I'm not listening, okay? Right, let's do it. Maybe I should put a towel down. Okay. All right, we've moved a towel in. Ah! <laughs> Fuck it, right. Ah! It's not that bad. It's actually not too bad, to be fair. I know where it will be bad. <laughs> Oh my god, the difference is actually insane. Okay, I'm gonna epilate in peace. I'll see you later. Okay, so that shit hurts like a motherfucker. I've done the bottom of one leg and half of the bottom of another one and I'm stopping to eat because I'm literally starving. So we're gonna eat this. And uh, yeah, for the record, it's delicious. Go me. Hey team, as you can see, I'm looking a little bit fresher than earlier. I managed to epilate both legs, the whole whole of both legs and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be to be fair I had set myself up for like the ultimate failure but it was actually okay uh, and now I'm outside Kay's house about to get my hair topped up and then I'm supposed to be at a class at half six but I'm not sure if I'm going to make it or not so we'll see about that but uh I keep posted. Home now hair has been all freshened up I'm so happy with it she mixed in a colour that's a little bit closer to mine so that it's kind of like I don't know it just looks natural it's beautiful so um, I was gonna make it on time for spin class and then I took a wrong turn and ended up like 20 miles up the M6 the wrong way. So that was pretty fucking irritating. So I accepted being late and that I'm not gonna make it and I came home and I've just eaten and literally stuffed my face. I'm so full, I had a, my usual wrap and I washed it down with the hot chocolate and I'm literally like stuffed, which is weird. So I'm just, uh, I missed the class. So I'm gonna have to just go in and do normal cardio, I assume. So I'm gonna get my shit ready and go in a second. So. Just parked up in the car park and I'm actually so bloated that it hurts. Like it genuinely hurts. And it's so nice to have my legs out. <laughs> now they're all epilated. Anyway, let's go and find for the um find out what he wants me to do today, seeing as I completely fucked up the plan. But accidentally being late. Look at how fresh my hair looks. Isn't it lovely? I'm so pleased with it. Um I've just done a hit cardio session, I guess you would say, with Fulvio, and then I did 90 minutes of weighted walk with the weight vest and this bugger here. <laughs> and I need to show you the aftermath. I hope I can do this with one hand because I am so sweaty. It's no joke, but I feel so good. Like I feel good at the moment. I don't know how clear this is, but I feel good. Just getting those last little bits off. Feeling it. Happy. Happy days. So yeah, now I'm going to head home. I'm gonna get into bed, have some sleep. I'm not gonna go to placement tomorrow. I'm gonna do some more sorting. Uh, also, it's, it's like half 11 now, so I won't wanna get up at half five. I'm gonna do a long day on my rest day instead to make up the hours and then go in on Thursday. Um, I've got training at half four, so I should be able to get here as long as I bring my food with me. And then I won't have lost out on hours. Um, they never wrote a rotor, so I'm assuming that I can just go in wherever I want. And uh, to be honest, that's what I'm gonna do. Naughty. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.